the use in it. Okay, so it's actually um, I I will dis describe some of the useful stuff. Okay, which is uh, maybe interesting to you in your future. Now, first of all, we have a first thing of it is about the storage. Okay. So there are some replacement. They, they really want to replace cookie. Okay, they think the cookie sucks. Okay, and they try to replace it by uh, something you already know what is local storage. And today I will talk about something more about local storage and how to uh, come up with some fancy way to use local storage. Okay, session storage, and you can uh, have a select where in your browser. Okay, there is a SQL engine inside every browser now. Okay, it's called WebDB, and here it's very useful when you are writing a mobile app. Okay, is to ask the browser to cache something that you want them to cache. Like uh, you want them to cache some uh, small image, and the image is uh, will be showing every time in your application. Okay, let's go. So what is the session storage? Session storage is very easy to understand. Okay, let's do a demonstration here. Wow, section storage. The so section storage is a just like a, a simplified cookie. So what is the meaning of simplified cookie? Let me uh, make it bigger, bigger, bigger. Okay. So you can just like that using a local storage. You have to set up a key. Okay, and the key is just like local storage. Push in the local storage storage. I mean, local storage is thing, okay? The storage inside the browser. But when does it gone? Okay? Do you know when local storage is gone? If you have used it, do you know where it gone? No one knows? Huh? Who will move in your Huh? Yes! That means permanent. It means permanent. Local storage is actually permanent. But how about session storage? Session storage is not permanent. Okay? There is uh, something that I love it, okay? Is if you kill the tab, just the tab, it's gone. Okay? So what is the meaning? Now I insert something, get item, put item, you already know what it says. A set item, I mean put item. One get one set, okay, with the session key. Now what I'm going to do is uh, just pretend that I have a form, okay, which I uh, have several pages. I don't need to use cookie anymore. Okay? I just push everything into your session storage. Okay. Let's say that this is TY Wong. Go on, and then Hong Kong ID is so sad, okay? But I don't love to type TY Wong in. I go back, it's still TY Wong. It's, I don't use uh, cookies to save it. The previous, uh, ten, uh, not previous. Most of the uh, people will use cookies to save it. Now I use session storage, but I close the tab. Let's say that I copy this tab, close it. We launch somewhere. TY Wong is gone. Uh, TY Wong is here, okay? The TY1 data is gone. Okay? So, this is session storage. Very, very easy to use and which is uh, good for form filling. Local storage, you already know it, but I want to tell you about how to you have a I mean, a kind of clever use of local storage. Okay? So, this is a web session storage, local storage. The kind of a clever use of local storage is not to save those kind of small words, okay? So they are important. But there is something even more interesting is how about you have a mean file, okay? You, you know what's mean file, right? The, the, uh, um, don't tell me about what's mean file. That means that you are using jQuery. jQuery has two files for you to choose. One is uh, the code that you understand. One is the code that you don't understand, okay? There's a compressed version of the, of the source code, okay? Now how about, let's say I, I load a PHP file, okay? But the PHP file tell me to load other JavaScript file, other uh, images, okay? Can I do this? I know that those files are permanent, permanent, okay? And I know that uh, I need it every time. How about I keep those JavaScript content as well as the image into the local storage? 
Ah, if that's the case, that's good, okay? But remember what Mandung has tell you is, I don't know whether he has tell you about this or not, okay? Local storage can only say text, right? So if you want to save a number, easy. Now how about an object? No problem. Use a JSON string file. You can string file and put it in your local storage. How about an image? There's a way, okay? You can use a, what we call a base64 and code image, okay? So let's go. Let's go to see what is this. Yeah, where's my browser? Okay. So uh, actually, I have uh, this PHP file. Okay. So what is this PHP file is doing? It's actually a uh, contain a set of uh, arrays of a. Uh, yeah, you can see this. There is a path. Okay. Actually, I have uh, several images. My several images is being encoded, encoded using a. Uh, Using the function in PHP called base64 encode. Okay? Now you don't need to remember this because different languages use different way. The target is I want to create this bunch of things. This bunch of things. It's called data quote image and then PNG blah 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 something. Okay? Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Okay, copy, paste it here. Of course, I need to remove the escape by myself. Okay, I have some escape there. I have very, I yeah. Okay, control F, backslash. Ah, oh, here. Do, 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 do. Remove all the backslash. Hey, 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 okay. Remove all the. Backslash, remove, okay. Control A, copy. Control V. Now, see what is this? <laughs> this is an image, okay? A small image drawn by me, okay? I draw this, so, yeah. This is a so, small image drawn by me, okay? I draw this image. I use I use a PHP uh, base64 encoding to ask it to encode into a string, okay? And browser has a capability. What is the capability? If you begin uh, a URL, we call it data URL. This is called data URL. Begin with a data colon, that means data URL. The type is an image, uh, PNG. I tell this what is by encoding scheme. Then it can display it. It can if you can even use this string to set it into the image dot source. Understand what I mean? In JavaScript, image object. Okay, you create image dot object using document dot uh, create element. Okay, then image dot source. Then you can display this. Okay. So is it fun? Yeah. What kind of fun it is? If you have a set of images, okay, you know that you will install as an app, and that application will from time to time cannot go online or or you want to just save it okay to, to storage and that is the way okay of course JavaScript file can be done like this okay and you can set it oh script dot source and equal to that bunch of things delete it okay so this is the, the thing now one thing about Local storage is, uh, well, I don't know why. Every browser has to update some of the features of local storage. Okay? So, someone already talked about, hey, how about uh, uh, how to ins install a bunch of things, like uh, in install a bunch of things like the Google. Okay? Google also tried this, right? In install some of the uh, sprite, okay, the sprite image installed in local storage, uh, small JavaScript, okay, so he find that, do, 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 do. Google search has 64 images in, in the HTML document as data URL and save it inside uh, local storage, okay, so it seems that this is not a, not a problem, but there is a big problem, the big problem is, I go a little bit fast, 
is about the size. Okay, you never question about the size, right? Because in assignment two, you just say for number. Okay, how about the size? How big it is? Five megabyte per domain. So what is the meaning? Okay. Yeah, so bet, better don't do this. Okay. You will you will damage our people. Let's say you have a Red Hat cloud, okay, uh you service before using OpenShift. And once someone loads your service, you load five megabytes of things into the mobile storage, then none of the other Red Hat cloud servers can use the local storage anymore. Unless unless we find it there is a run out of space. Okay? So it's because it's an entire domain sharing this. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we finished assignment two again okay? and then uh, we say the uh, say about something like this, okay? Is it fun? Yeah, I mean uh, it's not fun, okay? And you know it's also the bug oh, no, I don't consider it as a bug. I would say that it is uh, sure. hmm? Yeah, feature. Okay, there's the inside the source code of a browser, right? Does it? This is horrible, very horrible. Don't don't try to uh, make it make it so horrible. Okay, be a good citizen in using using the local storage. Okay, so this uh this is the code that I I used to uh, encode the image. Okay. One more thing, I love this. This is an interesting thing. Okay, how interesting it is. This is really for you to set up something offline. You imagine that uh, the case that you are, I, I, I don't know how many of you are uh, living in the North Point of uh, Hong Kong, okay? If you go to MTR, okay, then the train goes north, and in the middle of it, there is a tunnel, right? You know, what happened to all 3G network when you go to the tunnel? <laughs> a 4G is good, I don't know why. 4G, you, when you go in the tunnel, 4G still serve you. 3G, all gone. Okay? So let's imagine that you are in, you're inventing a web page, okay? That uh, you try to serve people while they have a not reliable data network. Now, do I have some contradiction? Yes, a very big contradiction. The contradiction is you cannot go online. How can you get index.html? Or in that stock page, people, whatever things, okay? And HTML5 allows you to do so. Allows you to catch the index.html. If you go offline, you can still do it. Interesting, huh? Let me demonstrate first, okay? Yeah, this demonstration is uh, horrible, you know, about the uh, Wi Fi of this building. Once I go offline, I may not be able to get one again. Yeah. Okay, so let me set it up. Eh? Where is my demo site? Okay, my demo site is here. Okay, so this is a uh, app cache. So first of all, uh, this app cache is governed by the file called manifest file. Okay, and you can use a PHP to generate it. You can use a static file, no problem. But its name is called a manifest file. In the manifest file, is one I will tell you how to specify it. You can say what are the things that you want to cache inside your application. In here, I will ask it to cache uh, a JavaScript file. Okay. I want it to cache also HTML file. Also, some free JPG, uh, for JPG, and also the, the hosting directory of the JPG. Cache it all. Okay. And now I load the file. Open it up. Okay, open it up like this. Okay, so because I have caches, so uh, it is low from cache. Okay, I don't don't care about the funny face. Okay, now what I'm doing now? Go offline. Yeah, it's offline, right? Reload. What does that mean? Do you remember in the manifest file I say that I cache the HTML, I cache the JavaScript file. I also catch four of the images. They are all cached here. Do you need network to load this page? No, no more. You don't need network to even load a page. Okay. So imagine the case that you are under an unreliable 
3G network, okay, it's going through a tunnel between university and hypo, okay, your application still work for you, but without the online data. Okay, the data up to date, no god, okay? Only the static data only fit there, okay? You can cache whatever things, okay, with HTML5 now. Of course I can choose to remove those cache. Okay, uh, resource, application cache, uh, application cache, open. So these are the things that being cached, okay? Let's say I remove one of the image. Remove, right? Can I remove? Why? Why can't? Copy, but cannot delete? What? Oh. Ah, Max sucks. Right kick? Why come lock, eh? Delete, delete, function delete. Command A, delete. <laughs> what ah? Uh, what happened ah? Uh, I cannot delete it. I ah, uh, sucks. Uh. Yeah. Don't worry about this, okay? You know, I always have pen play. <laughs> okay. No, but but. Where is my purple? Oh, okay, here, okay? I always have plan B, don't worry, okay? My plan B is, I already know that there is some problem. Oh, there is another problem. Ah, I know! I forgot to look at online. Yeah, oh, my quick! <laughs> Okay, so I already prepared for it. The application cache. So that's why I use Linux, okay, at that time, okay. Uh, I can go faster, okay. There is a cache, okay. I can choose work offline, okay. And I can also, this, I forgot to have destroy all the cache, okay. But actually, I can destroy all the cache later. Yeah, yeah don't care about this. Let's go faster. Okay, so how to specify the manifest file? Huh? I, I didn't say anything about the manifest file. So the manifest file is actually in... Yeah, where is it? Where is my file? Oh, here. The manifest file, will source, is specified here. Okay, you can say there is a set of things I want to cache, okay? so. I use PHP because let's say the manifest file is a. Uh, sometimes I want to cache small things, okay? Then your application know more things to cache. Okay, so that's why I use a PHP file here. And the is JavaScript file is to control how to read and how to write or how to uh, what is the thing that are being uh, updates. Okay, it's the update update of the manifest file, the cache object where it is being cached. Or there's no update, okay? We can all cache these events, okay? So, how about I want to update the manifest file? Let's say, okay? I say that you can update the manifest file. Either you can change the content by adding a timestamp, or you add more things in there. Then it will update the cache uh, setting, okay? So, then it is a, a cache here. So how about the SQL state? Okay, you can write an SQL system in your web page. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, here. So this is interesting. So this is a web HTML. I also op first open it up. What is the thing here? So it's very simple. I just open a database. Uh, this is transaction based, so I say that open a transaction and look at here. You already know what it is, right? Select something from blah blah blah, okay? No problem. You can also the um, I have a insert statement. Yeah, you can insert insert something into the table, blah blah blah. So you already know what is SQL uh, statement. Then you can use this very efficiently. 
So what is my, my application? My application is very easy. I just uh, have this <coughs> picture, the egg picture. Now when I click on it, let's say the, oh, this is a, this is the DC phase, okay? Okay, let's say it's something like this. Then it will save the description in the database and become a description here, okay? Yeah, or I can uh, type, type one, okay? Then it's become become something like this. Okay, that's description. Okay, so this is a uh, web DB. Okay, but it's seldom used. Okay, compared to local storage, people love local storage because it's a key value, right? We need to remember something small. Okay, if we go to a large scale thing, a structured data, why not pushing in the the, the our MDB? Okay, so then one more thing. Uh, Previously, we talked about so many things about uh, how to get rid of things, uh, about the uh, SOP restriction, I want to go elsewhere, okay? Now, what is this? This is another control, but that control is, uh, I don't think you will like it, okay? But I want to do a demonstration. The demonstration is about how to break the same origin communication, become the multi-origin or cross-origin things. Let's take a look at the demonstration first and then I will explain. So my demonstration is in a post message, it's called okay, post message. Okay. It is not the post message in your in your assignment too. Okay. So let's see what will happen. It's kind of related, okay, not the same. Okay. So I open up a dummy window, okay, and look at the hyperlink here. The hyperlink of dummy window is host in the whole custom page. Okay, it hosts in the custom page. Okay. Then here is a window allow me to type in anything. I type ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Okay. Hmm. Can you remember what happened in assignment two? Assignment is kind of related. Okay. You want to post something. Okay. And you open up a, it's not open up window, but open up an iframe, okay? Now, what is the secret behind it? The secret behind it is, actually, if you open a window, okay, in HTML5 context, okay, you have the window control uh, variable inside your host, okay? Now, you want to talk to it, you can use a post message by posting to that window. Of course, you have to you, you have to say that which domain the new window is in. Okay, let's say I open it up in an app.csd, then I will need to change all my code into talking to app. Now my setting is to from webhackcow talk to www.csd.chk.edu.hk. Okay. So this is about uh, the uh, post message. Okay, you can read the code by yourself. And other miscellaneous thing, I want to show it using this demonstration. Okay. So, how many of you have seen this before? No, no one. Okay. So this is a uh, when HTML5 first appeared, first appeared back in uh, several years before. This slides, okay, really rocks, okay. It show you all the features that are. Uh, like what I talked about, the storage, okay? The web storage is about local storage. You can uh, use this to control the local storage. Web SQL, uh, database, uh, index DB, oh, I, I didn't use it before as well, okay? Application cache, uh, there is a, new, this this is new, okay? This is called Porter, okay? Real time communication, you already tried this. Uh, the web socket, one of, one of another type, it's not about communication, it's called web worker. It is to ask, you know, JavaScript is a single process, single thread machines, okay? It allows you to create one more thread, okay, to execute a function, okay? So it allows you to, to create threads, okay? The web socket, you already know about it. Uh, notification, so what is the notification? Okay, a tweeter, okay, I can just tweet it, okay. So it's actually a, to notify to your browser, okay. File, 
Okay, try and drop. Did, did you try try and drop before? Let me try it. Okay. Okay, so let's try the um, move it. Uh, no, no, don't, don't, don't move this. This one. Drop it here. Okay, then it's, it's no, uh, what is the file type, file name, blah, 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 but I don't know why it's all become a bad name. Okay, uh, here is uh, also HTML5 stuff. Okay, I remember s last few years, okay, our assignment tool is doing this thing. Okay, uh, here, drag out. You can drag out a file like this. Okay, drag out a file like this. And it is a PDF. You don't know about this, but do you know about this? Let's say the who sent me emails with attachment. No. Uh, let's see. Uh. Yeah, yeah, this one, this one. Okay. So this is an assignment, assignment submission from a from a elite class student. Okay. Do you know about this? No one knows. Are you guys using Gmail? No, that's stupid. Yeah, drag it and pull it out. Okay, you are not alone. Okay, I remember that this done automatically and put it in in, in a uh, desktop. You can put it in elsewhere. Let's say that I want to put it in a Finder. Okay, I want to want to put it in the Dropbox okay okay put it out let's put it into uh, into this folder 1110 1110 hey Mr. Target hey come on come on okay 1110 okay, put it here no problem easy okay and you are not first batch of students get shot okay last batch they all know Okay, but last year I find that no tutor knows. Okay, I demonstrate this. Okay, I, I want to uh, uh, have a have a briefing with the TAs. Okay, not not our four four zero TA. Okay, other courses TA. I show this. They like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, they are all suck. Okay, it's actually a, a features, a features of this uh, HTML5. Okay, so you can look at the code here. How to enable it? Very easy. Okay, uh, file API, file system API. Do you know the file system API? Now it is very, very hot. Okay, do you know about the bug in a, no, a bug, okay, it's feature. Okay, that WhatsApp web, a web client, okay, previously only allowed Chrome. Now it's start to allow the Safari to use it. Okay, it's because of this file API. Okay, it's, I mean, uh, there's a sub story, you can look at it, okay. You can you can ask Google why WhatsApp only allow Chrome to use a web client. Okay, then you know about the story about this. Uh, geographic location, you already know it. Okay, the browser always know where you are. Uh, orientation, I cannot turn this. Okay, but I I have an iPhone version here. Uh, iPhone, no, no. I, I open P A P A P A D. Okay, no. Okay, so oh here here okay, can you see that? No. <laughs> can you see? Yeah yeah. Okay, can you see it? No, I don't. I don't know. Okay. One hand on one hand on. Us. Okay. 真係冷靜啊。Okay. We show Pujeta. No, it's not working. Maybe I crash it. I, I forget about it. I. Let's use back my notebook, okay? No, I, I, I let the fun. <laughs> I said. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, your project is already using it. 
Okay, let's change it back to a notebook. Okay. Huh? Nothing. Oh. Go on. Go on. What? Wait. Wait, baby, come on. Come on, baby. Again. Okay, I got signal here, but I don't got any signal here. On. Ah, oh, okay. Then uh, we have more. Uh, this is being the disabled. Okay, I. If you find a group, okay, a group, uh, I treat those group. Okay, I say that uh, you can say anything to the microphone, and the microphone will convert it. But uh, Google Chrome has already uh, deprecated the API. Okay, the API is very easy. Just add X bracket speech. Then you talk to the microphone, then you convert it in text. But now it's it's gone. Uh, okay. So if you want to know more about this set of slides, okay, you can do a Google search. Uh, HTML5Rocks.com slice the first one. Okay, this is the first one. Connect all the features, okay? Now don't go away.